tell you just a little bit about what we're going to do in week one. Um, really going to open this experiential exploration. What is genitive trance? I have been studying hypnosis my whole professional life, 45 years. I grew up in an Irish Catholic alcoholic family. That's a lot of trance. So I learned pretty early, there's no single trance. There's many, many different trances depending on the cultural values, depending on the psychological state. So generative trance is not a place where you lose control. It's not a place where you're passive. It's not a place where somebody else is giving you suggestions. Generative trance is a place where you really are tuned not only to your own core unique human creativity, but you also feel resonantly connected to, for lack of a better term, universal consciousness. So that's what we're looking to do. So if you wanted a reference structure, you might look at, at the states that people are in at their very best in creative performance. So a great musician, a great athlete, when they talk about being in the flow or being in the zone, that's what you will learn how to do in generative trance. And then you can use that for many reasons. You can just use it to have fun. You can use it to play. You can use it to relax. You can use it as a sort of a sanctuary. But you can also use it intentionally to create specific realities that are really important for you. So in addition to how do we develop generative trance, we're going to be exploring a seven step model for what are the different pieces that you need to include in that creativity state so that you can create changes, positive changes that last in, in your world. So it's really great, very practical, really deep. Come join us.